If you're watching this video, I'm assuming that means that you currently have back pain, you've had back pain in the past, or maybe you've had x-ray imaging or MRI imaging that indicates arthritic changes in the back or degenerative disc disease potentially, or maybe herniated discs or bulging discs. So I am Taylor Shorgen and I am a physical therapist here at Stepping Up Physical Therapy here to talk to you about low back pain, what the lower back actually is and what structures are associated with it and some things to do to help with low back pain. So first, I'm gonna start off with showing you the lower back, the structures that are involved in that, and then jump into some of the things that might be caused by dysfunction in the lower back. So I'm gonna pull my friend over here. So when we're talking about the lower back, we are talking about the last five vertebra in our spine that then lead into the sacrum. So we're looking at these five vertebra, one, two, three, four, five, here that make up the lumbar spine, which is the lower back, and then they lead into the sacrum here and then eventually end in the tailbone. So we have the bony portion of the spine. The spinous processes here are like if you run your hand along your back and you feel those protrusions, that is the spinous processes. Then if I turn this guy around here, we have the vertebral bodies here with discs in between. So the bony portion of our spine inside actually protects our spinal cord from injury and to keep it protected. And then we have discs in between the vertebral bodies here that are fibrous on the outside and more gelatinous on the inside. Think of it kind of like a jelly donut almost. So those are the main structures that make up our spine and spinal column. So lower back pain can actually be physically in the lower back, but we also have to think about that spinal cord that's traveling through that canal and nerves that are coming out of the spine to then go into our hips, our glutes, our legs. So sometimes when you're having issues in the back, it might not present itself directly in the back. You might notice that you feel it in your hips or your glutes or down the leg, and that can be because of herniations or bulging of the discs that are in between the vertebra here, and they can compress into those spinal nerves and cause pain that travels because those nerves travel. It can eventually also cause muscle weakness and dysfunction in the lower leg too. Now, a lot of low back pain can also be related to posture. So if you come in and you feel like you have lower back pain when you're sitting for long periods of time, walking for long periods of time, if you like to labor outside or you're gardening or bending and lifting, we want to talk through those mechanics because a lot of times the way that you position yourself, pick up things, bend and lift, the way that you position your body can really change and have an impact on how your back affects you over time. Um, we want to look at muscle groups obviously as well because there's a lot of times where stabilization of the low back can be low. A lot of that stabilization comes from the core, the lower back, and the pelvic floor. So we want to address all of those things as well. If you have thoughts and you've had back pain for quite some time or you feel like you feel off or just unstable, um, on our website, I have an HEP that's been put together for stabilization specifically, and then also one that's focusing on flexibility and stretching. So be sure to check those out and try some of those things out, but also know that low back pain and the lower back in general is a very complex structure. So if you have questions about your lower back pain or you're just not quite sure that you know exactly what's going on, please give us a call at 260-497-7191 or stop into any of our offices around Fort Wayne. Again, I'm Taylor, a physical therapist here at Stepping Up Physical Therapy, and we look forward to working with you.